Hey Explorers and welcome back to Pip Explorers. This week I'm telling you how I got into caving. So if you follow me out on social media, you might have seen several posts on different platforms asking for your caving questions. And if you don't follow me on social media, it's at Pip Explorers on everything. So make sure you go do that. So this is actually a question I got from somebody out there who asked me how I got into caving. So thanks Dan for the question and I'm going to spend this video explaining my journey in the caving community. When I started college, I was looking for a club and groups to join. I was very active on campus. I joined way too many groups freshman year like most college students, but I was looking for a community of people who like to be outside. I was at an event for actually a different club and I met the current president of the caving club at Wittenberg or the Wittenberg University Speleological Society. We got to talking and this person realized that I really liked being outside and invited me to my first WUSS meeting. I didn't know at the time that that was gonna be the defining moment of a lot of my life, but here we are. So I went to my first meeting, everybody seemed really cool, like I said, I was super, super busy. I would show up to a meeting every once in a while, but I didn't actually go on my first trip until my sophomore year. So my sophomore year of college comes and I sign up to go on the first intro trip of the semester. And now <laughs> I've come a long way from then, but we went to a cave called Sloan's in Southern Kentucky and I didn't wear any knee pads because I didn't think I actually needed them. I was in like a corduroy flannel that I had found at the Goodwill. I was in jeans that I had found at the Goodwill. I was as prepared as somebody who had no idea what they were getting into could have been. And I actually had a horrible first caving trip. And for some reason, I feel like this is something that's actually universal. Most cavers didn't have a great first trip. I don't know what it is about caving that attracts people who like to be miserable, but here we are. So I ended up at the back of our group. The entrance that we went in was full of popcorn and just like gravel that we were crawling across. So if you've ever been in a cave like this, a lot of times passages that sometimes have water in them, the bottom of them are real pokey. It's full of gravel and sharp rocks and stuff that you don't really want to be crawling on, but we were crawling on it. And again, this was my first time ever caving. I was also behind somebody else who had never been caving before, who was really slow. So there were a lot of times where I felt like we were really far behind or had to move really, really fast to stay caught up with the group. And it wasn't ideal. By the time I was done, I was covered in bruises. I was exhausted. I didn't ever want to do it again, but I did. And at this point, I already knew a lot of the other people. We had all driven the four hours down to Kentucky together. Some of them I had classes with. I was in the same dorm as them. And so it already kind of felt like a little bit of the community that I had been looking for on campus. Then we go through this horrible experience. Well, at least to me, that's what it felt like. And we come out and we like, make hot dogs and macaroni and cheese over a fire, we goof around, we sleep in tents, and then the next day we drive back to campus and we're all like telling stories. I remember one of the officers forgot his boots, so he was just caving in the shoes that he had, so we had this whole joke about that. Some of the girls kept land sharking, which is laying on the ground and putting up a fin, which was like a thing the youths did back in the day. But we had all of these funny stories and it already started to feel like a community. So I kept going on trips and the more I went on trips, the more I figured out how to enjoy caving. I figured out how to move underground. I learned a lot about vertical caving, which is my personal favorite type of caving. And I learned a lot about the people that I was caving with. I couldn't be more thankful that that person freshman year had decided to say, hey, you like the outdoors, why don't you try caving? And even though it took me a year before I finally tried, and I didn't have the best, I didn't have this beautiful first caving experience, I got hooked. 
And I think, really, that's the only thing that has made me keep going back all these years. Caving is an activity that not a lot of people do. It's an activity that not a lot of people understand. But it is definitely an activity that I couldn't imagine not having in my life. Most of my best friends, including my fiance, I met caving. I have met some of the greatest people I have ever known while underground, covered in mud. So that is how I got into caving in the first place and a little bit about my first trip story. If you guys have any questions about caving, why we do it, any specifics about it, any details you want to know, I'm working on a series where I answer your questions. So let me know in the comments. You can also DM me on Instagram or Twitter and you can find me out on Facebook as well. So send me your questions and you can be featured in one of my videos. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. All of our social medias are at Pip Explores and our website is pipexplores.com. So make sure you check us out in all of the places and we will see you next week. Bye guys.